Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your Verus Pro Diagnostic Tool. This training module covers the basic setup and controls. Before operating or maintaining Verus Pro, read the safety instructions and user manual carefully, paying extra attention to the safety warnings and precautions. To power up the Verus Pro, press the power button. Verus Pro powers up and automatically opens the diagnostic software. Verus Pro has a touchscreen display that can be used for most operations. The power indicator light shows red when the tool needs charging and green when charged. There is a microphone, a hard drive activity LED. The S button will take a screenshot when pressed. The four-way keypad contains up, down, left, right, and an enter button. There is a button for the camera, one to bring up the virtual keyboard, and one to change the screen brightness. The audio speaker is at the bottom left. The back side of the unit includes a socket for a security lock, not included, the battery compartment cover, collapsible stand, and the camera lens. To replace the battery pack, move the stand to the open position, loosen the two screws that hold the battery in place, then pull on the top edge of the battery and lift. Then place the bottom of the new battery into the front edge of the compartment and push the top of the battery down into the compartment to lock into place. Snug up the screws to hold the battery in place. Do not over tighten. Connections are on the left side of the Verus Pro under a hinged cover. The two USB client ports are used to connect Verus Pro to external devices, such as a printer or USB keyboard. There are headphone and microphone jacks and a power supply port. Use only the AC adapter provided with the Verus Pro. The scope multimeter module installs directly into the display device and is held in place by a lock tab. Depress the lock tab and the scope multimeter module is easily removed from the display device. A USB cable supplied with your kit can then be used to connect the scope multimeter module to the display device. Now you can continue to remotely monitor circuit activity while moving the display device around the vehicle. The scope multimeter module contains the following ports and connection points common or ground port, ports for channels 1 through 4, a 9-pin auxiliary port, and a USB port under a protective cover. The scan module is a wireless communications device that transmits vehicle data to the display without a physical connection. If the module is out of range and the wireless signal is lost, it sounds a tone and the display shows a warning message. The signal automatically restores itself when the unit is brought back in range. The scan module contains the following connections and indicators. Data cable connector, green Bluetooth LED, red communication issue LED, and green vehicle power LED. The memory card and USB ports can be accessed by removing the protective hand grip. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series.